here in their little special place. This is a story about cats. But before we tell you about these kittens, purring and pampered, you need to see where they came from. Claws that scratch, teeth that bite, paws that run and run, and run when humans are around. If we spoke cat, we would hear them curse. Such nasty creatures, who would care about them? Welcome to the wild world of Alley Cat Project. In a South Seattle neighborhood of foundries, highways, and homeless encampments, a young woman walks with a cage. She places the cage on the ground. One end is open, on the other end she puts the bait. And then the Alley Cat Project volunteer waits. And waits. There's a lot of waiting. Before this. Deb Sorensen founded Alley Cat Project in 2010. I never intended to do this. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was never my plan. I uh, just started out volunteering at the shelter and I found out at that time that 80% of all the cats that they euthanized were feral cats. Hey guys, are you ready for some food? Feral cats are tough to find homes for. Yeah. They don't trust humans, as opposed to strays which have lived with people at some point. There are more free-range cats than you realize. Approximately 40 million in the United States, according to the Humane Society. Wild cats often live a short, hard life. They are very much in danger. They fight to survive and they fight to mate. The big idea with Alley Cat Project is to help cats living outside live a better life. If they can get them adopted, that's the cat's meow. For hardcore feral felines, there's something called TNR, trap, neuter, return. Capture wild cats. Step two, get them spayed or neutered. Finally, return them to where they were captured, with clipped ears to show they've been fixed. Then wildcat colonies are happy places where cats can live years and years. No more macho male fights for mates. No more litters and litters of kittens. They can have two or three litters a year if, if they don't get caught in time. Let's do the math. A female cat will give birth to an average 12 kittens a year. In seven years, a single pair of unaltered cats and their offspring could produce 370,000 kittens. Alley Cat Project has made great strides creating contented colonies of fixed and vaccinated wild cats in Seattle. Volunteers feed them in raccoon-proof stations. We spend over $50,000 a year on food alone. But there was a hotbed of feral litters where Alley Cat Project could only scratch the surface. Homeless encampments, which attract rats that bring in cats, and then... One of the cats up here had a litter of kittens and I've had them ever since they were born. When we met Leah Shipley, she was living in a tent in Soto with her cats, Master Mittens and Mr. Stench. Yeah, they keep me happy and I do everything that I can for them. Alley Cat Project had a tough time convincing encampment residents to get their animals spayed and neutered. That changed when volunteer Morgan Sandys showed up. Homeless people are just normal people going through a really rough time, and the connection they have with their pets is, is often life-saving, and that should not be undermined for any reason. Sandy's day job is in homeless outreach. That's one reason Shipley and the other campers allowed Sandy's to take their cats away to be fixed. The other reason? Sandy's used to live here. I myself was homeless for about half a decade, uh, not too long ago. Sandy's understands what it means to have this when you have so little. I love them to death. Again, if I didn't have them, I don't know what I would do. That's the power of the kitten. Okay, here are those baby kitties we promised. I got them when they were two or three days old. Now they're six weeks old, and foster parent Catherine Schatzel is in love with six kittens born under a rhubarb bush. She's especially smitten with the kitten that almost didn't make it. 
I called her Wee One. She was only three ounces when I first got her, and I syringe fed her and bottle fed her, and now she's a whopping pound and eight ounces. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, look at that. The runts are always the feisty ones. And all the others uh, follow her and learn, learn by her antics. For Alley Cat Project's 130 volunteers, it's all hands on deck April through November. Kitten season offers the best chance to change a life. Almost three quarters of all the cats we trap are kittens. Way to go, Morgan, way to go. Oh my God. The urgency for trappers, there's a window of time when kittens born in the wild can be tamed. So I think these kittens are spicy by the way they are freaking out right now. But I got all three and the mom in a very short amount of time. Experts say that socializing window closes around 16 weeks. The younger the kittens are when they're put into foster care, the better the outcome. Last year, Alley Cat Project placed a record 254 kittens born outside into loving homes. Back at Schatzel's house in West Seattle, Deb Sorensen gives the kittens flea treatments. Then it's time for fun. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, you got it. Yes, you do. There it is. Ah. Even the wild mama cat is getting more chill. I worked out that when I walked past her, I shouldn't look at her and then she wouldn't run away. Very soon the day will come when the puffins will be ready for their forever homes. It's a day Schatzel looks toward with a mix of sadness and pride. For me, the hardest is when the first day or two or a week uh, after they've all been adopted and uh, it's too quiet. And then I'll just check with Deb and see what's next in the pipeline. You never know. Watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.